Good day, great tens, and welcome uh, to our video today in which we are going to look at the count functions. Okay, so here we have a spreadsheet in front of us. Um, we've got names, surnames, days absent, you know, all this relevant information. So the three we're going to look at um, are the following. We've got a formula that says count. We've got another one that says count A. And then the last one that says count blank. Okay, now all three perform a different function. Our count formula, which is equals count, that counts the number of cells that has uh, numbers in it. Okay, so if we look at our cells over here, it will only count the ones that have numbers. Count A will count all the cells that contain numbers and letters. And count blank will count all the cells that have nothing in them. Okay, so let's do this exercise together. Let me just zoom in over here so that you can see. Right, so I'm going to go equals count. I open my bracket and then I'm going to highlight this whole range and I'm going to close my bracket and hit enter. So it's counting and it says the answer is eight. So let's let's have a look at this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see in that entire range of uh, how many of I think it's 23 or something like that cells. It's counting eight that actually have numbers in them. If I use count A, so equals count A, open the bracket, highlight these same cells again, and hit enter, it's also giving me eight. Okay, why? Because it's going to count, again, only the cells that have numbers or letters. So are there any cells that have letters? No. So let's go and do one. Uh, let's go to cell B11, and I'm going to put in the letter A. Now watch what happens over here. A, enter, and that immediately changes to a 9. Why? Because there's now another cell that contains a number or a letter. You'll see that that makes no difference to equals count because that only counts numbers. And then with count blank, let's put that in, pop in the range over there, hit enter, and it's 7. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, and that's using our count formula, our count A formula, and the count blank formula. All right, then we move on to another one. This formula that we're looking at is known as count if. Okay, so what count if is going to do? It's only going to count cells if it matches a particular criteria. So you're going to say something like, you know what? Um, in this range, it must count, let's say, for example, all the cells that have the letter M in them or a number that's, you know, greater than something there. So let's let's look at the bottom section. Uh, let's just zoom in there so that we can go and have a nice close look at that. So they want us to do a few things. Um, they want us now to look at the number of female participants, male participants, grade 12, grade 11s, and those who have scores above 7,000. So the way we start our formula, because we are using a count if, we go equals count if, we're going to open our bracket. And the first thing we're going to do, you can see here, it already tells us what we need to do. We're going to highlight that range because we want Excel to go and have a look in that range and count the cells if it matches a criteria. Well, what is our criteria? Our criteria in this case is that it must have the letter, oh, sorry, not M, must have the letter F for female. I hit enter. Oh, but now it's giving me a problem. Hmm, why is that? Is my range correct? C3 to C12, yes, I'm using count if. That's all fine. Let's see what happens over here.
let's have a look so we're gonna go count if we're going to open up our bracket um we're going to highlight our range and we're going to say everything that must equal 12 we put that in inverted commas <clears throat> Right, so now what I'm going to do, in order to count the number of female participants, I'm going to go equals count if, because that's my function, open up my bracket, I'm going to highlight uh, the cells in the range there, okay, because I want Excel to have a look through that range, to count only the number of female participants, so in other words, the ones that have the if over there, I'm going to use a semicolon to separate that, and you can see immediately, the range is now not highlighted anymore, but the criteria. And in inverted commas, I put in F because I'm dealing with text. Close my bracket, hit enter. And there you can see it's counted two, right? One and two. Now I can do the same for the number of male participants. I'm going to use the exact same range. Put in my semicolon to separate that. And now I'm going to put in an M. That gives me eight. Number of grade 12 learners same story count if now my range is going to change still putting in the semicolon and this time i'm going to put in 12 and i get six and that's fine and now i'm counting the number of grade 11s in that range again semicolon up in my 11 that's all fine now with the last one, I need to put in the number of scores above 7,000. So I'm going to highlight that just to check. Okay, now everything's fine. Put in my formula equals count if, open my bracket, highlight that range, pop in my semicolon. But this time, I'm going to put in a greater than sign and say greater than 7,000 and hit enter. So how many numbers are greater than 7,000? One, two, three, four, and that is my answer. Great tens, that is how we use count, count A, count blank, and count if.